Hi everybody! For this week's craft we will be making painted ladybugs, caterpillars, and butterflies from used materials that we can find in our own recycling. Uh, this is going to be a really fun craft and it helps us talk about all the things we've been learning with Miss Caitlin involving the life cycle of caterpillars into butterflies and ladybugs. So, for the parents, mom and dad, on the screen there's going to be all of our materials which are going to be some used toilet paper rolls, white paper, a spare piece of cardboard or something that you can put paint on. Uh, you're going to need some paint, a marker, and then some plants from a nature walk that we'll be doing. Okay, so kids, let's get into it. Okay, as everybody can see, I have a nice large white piece of paper. You do not have to use one this big. This came from a Bristol board of mine. You can, of course, use any paper that you can find in the house. And then we're going to go ahead and find our toilet paper tubes. I have two because we're going to be making two different shapes, but you can also use one and cut it into smaller pieces if you only have one toilet paper roll left. The other thing that we're going to be getting out is, for me I'm using a spare piece of cardboard, and I'm going to go ahead and put on, let's start with my green paint for a caterpillar. So I'm going to just put a splotch of green paint on there, and I'm going to rub it around with my fingers so that I have a nice flat circle. And that's what we're going to be using to dip it in. I'm going to do that. Okay guys. And then I'm going to take my circular thing and rub it in there. Rub it in the paint guys. Rub, rub, rub. I'm going to make a caterpillar I think right here. So I'm going to do one and then I'm going to get some more paint. Rub, rub, rub. Two. Do you see how I'm using this green paint to make overlapping circles? Three. Four. I think I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do a five part caterpillar. <gasps> Look, there's a caterpillar going across my page now. So we're going to let him dry, and while we're letting him dry, I think that I might go ahead and do a butterfly. And I think I'm going to do a pink butterfly today. I'm going to get some pink. Mom and Dad, this would be a great time to talk with your kids about the life cycle of butterflies and ladybugs. So I'll see, once again, I'm spreading that around so that I can dip in my cardboard tube going to be using this one right here and I am going to just rub 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 and do kind of that and pinch oops did not do a very good job that time might be using the wrong toilet paper tube I may even just kind of take my fingers, do that. Let's see if I have. See how I've taken this tube and done some pinching? I'm gonna do. And then pinch, push, and then rub some more. Push, rub. Look, so now I have one, two, three, four. Four little parts. And I did that, Mom and Dad, by taking a round tube and pinching so that I had more of a sharp oval. So now we have a butterfly. I think that maybe now would be a good time to add in some red paint. And we're going to put that on our piece. Rub it around. This is a nice bright red. And I'm going to do two different caterpillars. I'm going, I mean, two different ladybugs. I'm going to do one ladybug 
That is, I'm going to put them over here. And I'm going to go like this and make a nice circle. Then I'm going to take the pinched one that I made earlier and rub it around in there, guys. What color are ladybugs? They're usually red with black spots. See, now I have some wings. And so, Mom and Dad, what we're going to do after we make all of our shapes to make our bugs is that we're going to add in things like antennas and black dots. And this would be a great time for your kids to let these dry and actually go on a nature walk. So I'm going to go on a bit of a nature walk. I'm going to try and find things that bugs like caterpillars and ladybugs are found on. Um, this is a great moment to talk about how caterpillars like to eat leaves and flowers to grow big so that they can go through their metamorphosis in their cocoon to turn into um, butterflies. And a moment to talk about how ladybugs keep our flowers growing nicely by eating all the aphids off of it. So we're going to take a pause here. I might do a little bit more work on mine. Y'all should go on a nature walk and I'll show you the next part. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed your nature walk, finding all different kinds of plants and bugs. What kind of colors did you see? I saw some yellow dandelions, and I also found some yellow flowers on the front of my blueberry bush. It looks like they're getting ready to make some blueberries. I also saw lots of green because it is spring and everything is starting to grow. Um, okay, Mom and Dad, I hope that y'all enjoyed your walk, and hopefully it gave you just enough time. This is a part that's going to probably be a little bit easier for you, but totally okay for the kids to try as well. I'm going to use a marker to go ahead and draw in some like dots on our ladybugs, some antennas, see more dots. antennas and maybe a line down that one maybe a line there dots antennas and then on my butterflies I'm going to add in a body I'm doing this kind of quick some antennas looks like my markers drying out another body and then antennas and then I also did some bees because bees are wonderful pollinators right now maybe some wings lines because what color are bees? bees are yellow with black stripes all of the bugs we've drawn today, except for our caterpillar, can fly. And so then we're going to draw maybe some eyes and a smile on our caterpillar. And maybe give him some legs. Okay, how many bugs do we see that Miss Emma made? Let's see, can we count together? We're going to start with our caterpillar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We made nine bugs. So now what's next is after we went on our nature walk, I thought it would be fun if we gave our painted bugs some food. So I think I'm going to put some of my dandelions around. See, I think the bees love dandelions. Dandelions are one of the earliest flowers that come up and it's great because they help pollinate all future flowers. And then I think maybe, do you think that the butterflies would like to fly through those? Here's another dandelion. Oh, and some leaves. 
for our caterpillar to munch on. Hmm? There he is. He's munching. He's munching. Right there. And then I also got a big stick. Because, you know, a lot of these can actually be found in trees, too. Wow. Well, that looks like they're all going to be nice and well fed. Don't you think? Okay guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed making some butterflies, bees, caterpillars, and ladybugs with me today. So, show me all of your pictures, talk about those colors and plants and all of the bugs. Miss you.